My name is Rainier and I'm a filmmaker and photographer. In this first season of Is It Really That Bad, I'm traveling through Iran. With my own rental car, I'll be discovering if Iran is a safe place to travel. I'm here to see if Iran is really that bad. In this episode, I find out that my dancing skills are also bad in Iran, I pet a donkey and experience firsthand that my snowboarding skills haven't been what they used to be. Our stay in the desert had been amazing, and on top of that, we met one of Iran's best violin players, who gave us a private concert in the middle of the sand. So we've seen the desert, and now we're trying to find the exact opposite, the snow. So, from the hot desert, we were heading to the cold, the high mountain ranges in the north of Iran, after fixing that flat tire. Went from 25 plus degrees to I think minus 25. We're on the top of a hill, there's a ton load of snow and we can go snowboard in. Yes, let me weg, There was just one essential thing we had forgotten. Snowboarding gear. Let's hope I don't break anything, hey? Only one minute in, and I already managed to bruise a bunch of ribs. It was a short ride in the end. With my lack of snowboarding skills being unveiled in a painful manner, I suggested it would be better to head off to our next destination, the Alamut Valley. Yesterday we traveled to Kasfin, which is the gateway to Alamut Valley. And to explain to you what we can do here, I'm transforming into an Iranian. Welcome to Alamut Valley. We're gonna start a day away from daily routine, pollution and all the city life around. You can see the... Okay, that was actually Hassan, a local who wanted to show us his favorite spots in the Alamut Valley. This valley isn't so far away from Tehran, the capital of Iran, but it is quite difficult to get there. The only entrance to the valley is a steep pass, which might be one of the reasons why this part of Iran has been isolated. It feels a bit more authentic and conservative, and its nature is also quite preserved. Panoramic. Hassan now lives in Kasfin, <laughs> the nearest big city. He tells me it's difficult for him to settle there. During our trip, he constantly shows us beautiful viewpoints, spectacular nature, 
and colorful birds. It's clear he's an outdoorsman. After having lunch at a local eatery, Hassan takes us to one of his favorite spots, Assassin's Castle. But he forgot to mention it was quite a climb. Oh, this is really high, are we there yet? Okay, joking. Support. This is a vertical 200 cliffs, 200 meter cliffs okay. above the village. Okay. And it, because of this way, this is much inaccessible, way inaccessible for enemies. Okay. There's not perhaps an elevator on that side. Elevator. Yeah. <laughs> no? Okay. Hassan comes across as a passionate guy with a lot of love for his roots. I think I'm very lucky to belong to such a this beautiful place. Uh, other tourists always said we are jealous. We are jealous of you. Because you are in a place in terms of history is great and also in terms of nature it is huge. This is always in my heart. I work in Ghazvin but always my mind is in Alamut Valley. He also emphasizes why he thinks tourism can be important to Iranian people. We like to have a relation to people all around the world, you know. Also, the tourism industry is like this. The tourism or ecotourism encourage people to talk with each other, communicate. The next day, Hassan introduces us to more locals. The majority of people in this area live from agriculture. This farmer keeps bees for a living. I'm allergic to bees, but luckily Christian can capture some nice close-up shots. The Alamut Valley marks the end of my journey through Iran. During my trip back to Tehran, I encountered something special. A group of Iranians dancing at a parking lot to celebrate Nowruz. I guess Iranians can party anywhere. I was immediately invited to join. And how could I refuse? For me it felt like another confirmation on how open and spontaneous Iranians actually are. Keen to meet others. Iran also has another side, which I haven't really seen. And for people living there, daily life can be a challenge. I wanted to see if Iran also has a different side than the media shows you. Summing up, I had a road trip which felt as safe as home. I made friends and had an amazing time. So, is it really that bad? I don't think so. Thanks for watching.